named after the initials Véhicule Blondi de Combat d'Infanterie, meaning Armored Infantry Fighting Vehicle, the VVCI ranks among the best in its class. However, its performance in the international market has fallen short of expectations. As a weapon detective, we're now investigating the VVCI and the factors hindering its potential. The VBCI incorporates numerous advanced technologies and French expertise in this field. Despite the highly dynamic market, it has yet to achieve export success. Why has this combat-proven wheeled armored infantry fighting vehicle, shortly AIFV, fallen behind its competitors? First, let us briefly explore the VBCI's history and features to understand the situation better. In the early 1990s, France initiated a program called Véhicule Blanc de Modulaire meaning modular armored vehicle to replace its 30-year-old AMX 10P fleet. At that time, Germany was also seeking a new vehicle to replace its M113s and Fox TPZ-1s. Thus, these two countries opted to collaborate in 1993. Three years later, the UK joined the program, which required a similar vehicle to replace its FV-432 armored personnel carriers and Scorpion armored reconnaissance vehicles. However, as usual, France left the partnership in 1999. Later, the Netherlands joined the program while the UK withdrew. The Boxau was created, whereas France proceeded with its own design, the VBCI. Two leading French companies, GIA and Renault Tour de France, combined their expertise to create the new vehicle. GIA, today's KNDS, was responsible for the hull and turret, whereas Renault Tour de France, today's Arcus, develop the mobility components. To reduce development costs, designer utilized readily available off-the-shelf components. Field trials commenced in 2003. Throughout the testing period, the Dragar turret encountered several issues. Implementing the necessary corrections required some time, resulting in a two-year delay for the program. The upgraded turret was subsequently named Tarasque. Paris officially issued the order in 2007 and the 35th Infantry Regiment of the French Army received the first VBCIs in 2008. France initially intended to order 700 vehicles, including 550 AIFVs and 150 command post variants. However, the number was subsequently reduced to 510 and 120 respectively. All VBCIs were delivered in 2018. The VBCI is a modular vehicle. However, it lacks the same reconfiguration capabilities as the Boxer, which can be adapted for various mission profiles in field conditions. On the other hand, the VVCI's modularity allows for easy replacement of automotive components and armor blocks and rapid reconfiguration of the 13 cubic meter crew cabin. The vehicle's hull frame is made of aluminum, reinforced with an add-on modular THD steel and titanium armor that can be replaced in field conditions. In its standard configuration, the VBCI can withstand 23 to 25 mm armor piercing rounds and RPGs at the front, while it can resist 14.5 mm armor piercing rounds on the remainder of the vehicle. The V shaped hull, featuring deformable energy absorbing boxes, has a high ground clearance against the threat of landmines. It can withstand a landmine containing an explosive equivalent to 8 kg of TNT. The crew and infantry also sit on the mine-resistant seats and spall liners cover the interior. The VBCI has a low infrared signature and the exhaust gases are released after the loading. The vehicle, which also features a small radar cross-section, is equipped with the Galax countermeasure system. The engine and crew personnel compartments have automatic fire suppression systems. The vehicle is capable of operating in a CBRN environment. The VBCI's network-centric warfare capability also enhances its survivability by increasing its situational awareness and combat efficiency. Furthermore, we should add that the French Weapons Procurement Authority, Delegation Générale Paul Normand and Nexter conducted tests on a new type of camouflage known as Chameleon for the VBCI from 2013 to 2017. The Chameleon decreases the vehicle's visible and infrared signature by employing OLED light-emitting diodes. Its screen-like surface automatically alters colors to blend in with the surroundings. 
The gunner is positioned within the dual axis stabilized Taras turret and has a 360 degree panoramic observation device. The fire control system features day and thermal sights and a laser rangefinder. The commander seated behind the driver in the hull possesses a personal day-night observation periscope and can also operate the turret through his display. In a standard mission, the commander leaves the vehicle with the infantry. The 25mm M811 autocannon has a rate of fire of 125 to 400 rounds per minute. Its feeding system holds 220 ready-to-fire rounds. The barrel can be depressed and elevated from minus 9 to plus 47 degrees, providing the VVCI with limited ability to engage aerial targets. Additionally, the vehicle carries 2000 rounds for the Quaxial 7.62mm Mag-58 machine gun. Thanks to its 8x8 drive, centralized tire inflation system and mixed long-travel oleo pneumatic mechanical suspensions, the VBCI has sufficient cross-country mobility to accompany the Leclerc tank. The vehicle features two tanks, one at the front with a capacity of 170 liters and the other at the rear offset from the body with a capacity of 230 liters. Four front wheels steer the vehicle with a turning radius of 17 to 22 meters. The AIFV on the other hand can perform pivot turns thanks to its emergency steering system which locks the wheels on one side. Nevertheless, this is not a common practice as such a maneuver quickly wears down the running gear. The VBCI is an amphibious. It can for depths of 1.5 and 1.2 meters with and without preparation respectively. The vehicle is transportable by the Airbus A400M. The VBCI has a three-person crew consisting of a commander, gunner and driver. It can carry up to eight soldiers. The AIFV has a length of 7.89 meters, a width of 2.98 meters and a height of 3.22 meters. Its combat weight is 28 tons. The 550 horsepower Volvo D12 turbo diesel engine provides a road speed of 100 km per hour. The VBCI has a range of 750 km. The AIFV can negotiate 0.8 meter vertical steps and 2 meter trenches. The VPC command post vehicle has two stations staffed by a 7 person mission crew. It features a remotely controlled weapon station with a 12.7mm machine gun. In 2018, the French army modified six VBCIs for armored ambulance missions because of a shortage of such vehicles. Motor carrier, anti-tank missile carrier, engineering and recovery variants of the VBCI have also been considered, yet none have been developed to date. In 2014, an improved variant of the VBCI was unveiled. This version increased its internal rear volume by relocating the electrical equipment to the front of the vehicle. That year, the Delegation Générale pour le moment also qualified a new variant of the VBCI which weighs 32 tons but provides enhanced protection. The VTT personnel carrier and VBCI 2 improved AIFV versions are also developed for export. We should add that the Vixtera tank destroyer equipped with the TML-105 turret was developed as a part of the Véhicule Blonde Modular program, therefore it shares many components with the VBCI. Also, the Russian Autumn wheeled AIFV was developed in cooperation with Renault Trucks Defense based on the VBCI. The VBCI was baptized with fire in 2010 in Afghanistan with 10 vehicles deployed in the region. In the summer of 2011 in Kapisa, the VBCIs were targeted by about 15 RPG-7s, one of which was stuck in the cage armor without detonating. The others missed the vehicles entirely. In another incident, an improvised explosive device tore two right front tires and created a blast inside the vehicle. Nevertheless, the damaged AIFV kept moving until it arrived at the forward operating base. It was repaired and set up for the mission again two hours later. In 2013, France deployed 34 VBCIs in Mali. On July 1, 2018, two vehicles were destroyed because of a car bomb detonated near a French military convoy. The VBCI also served in Lebanon and the Central African Republic. What factors have hindered VBCI's market potential? Replacing the tracked AMX 10P with the wheeled AIFV was a radical decision. Before that, Wheeled and track vehicles were generally regarded with distinct mission definitions. 
the high-speed wheeled armored vehicles were vital to the remarkable victory of the French Daguerre Division during the 1991 Gulf War, prompting France to embrace transformation. On the other hand, Germany and the UK, initial partners of France, were not keen on a wheeled AIFV replacing their Magdar and Warriors. The former developed the Puma, while the latter was considering modernizing its existing fleet at the time. Therefore. The joint program was doomed from the outset due to differences in tactical thinking. Furthermore, the world was not ready for such a transformation. The VBCI was too avant-garde for the international market. The market for wheeled armored vehicles designed to replace armored personnel carriers has been significantly more dynamic over the past 25 years. Numerous wheeled AIFVs have also found new customers but have rarely replaced the track versions. The VBCI's design philosophy is appropriate for France, but not for other nations. Due to its security concerns and international interests, this country requires unusual vehicles that are neither too sophisticated nor too simple, nor cheap nor too expensive. The VBCI is more capable than many of its competitors in certain respects. However, a 25mm main gun is now considered, how shall we say it politely, to be somewhat outdated. The 30mm is now the new standard, while 35 and 40mm are not rare. Some believe that the 57mm is the future. Many new wheeled AIFVs are also equipped with 25mm autocannons, yet they are not as sophisticated as the VBCI. Consequently, they are less expensive and better suited for countries facing low intensity risks. Why does the VBCI have a one-person turret? We consider this a peculiar choice. Modern AIFVs are equipped with either two-person turrets for better combat capability or remotely controlled weapon stations. Furthermore, the commander of the VBCI exits the vehicle with the infantry during the engagement. It is typically a design criterion for personnel carriers rather than the AIFVs. We do not claim that the VBCI is an inferior vehicle. It is well suited to France requirements, which do not clearly align with those of other countries. Even the French must have recognized this and developed the VBCI2 export variant. This vehicle features a two-person turret with a 40mm CTA 40 CT autocannon. Some viewers might recall the possible Qatar sales. Those acquainted with Middle Eastern politics understand that this was merely protection money. When Qatar faced serious issues with other Gulf countries, it began acquiring expensive weapon systems from Western sources to secure their political backing. After these issues were resolved, the pace of these acquisition programs diminished. Consequently, negotiations for the VBCI have remained unresolved since 2017. Unsurprisingly, the VBCI has not met expectations in the international market. It is not because it is an incompetent vehicle. According to our analysis, this AIFE, except its VBCI2 variant, was created for and only for France. That is the reason. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.